jacked up crowd tonight. Yes, I know why. <laughs> wow. I know, it's because we're in Hollywood and the actor strike is finally over. The, uh, for you, uh, for you younger people watching, the, the actors are the people in the movies pointing at the CGI. <laughs> this is the, but uh, no, I worry. I mean, with the actor strike over, who's going to figure out the Israeli-Palestinian conflict on Twitter? <laughs> oh, that's, here's where we are. <laughs> here's where we are with that. The Museum of Tolerance here in L.A. The Museum of Tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> they had it showing a movie about this, and fistfights broke out. <laughs> Fourteen people were treated for irony. <laughs> The Museum of Tolerance. That's where we are. Well, and th they were showing uh, 43 minutes of the Hamas attack on October 7th in Israel, and without any editorialization, just the footage that they themselves, Hamas, took and wanted the world to see. But the pro-Palestinian people did, did demonstrate they did not like this. Uh, the college kids especially think that the... Uh, but they prefer to think of the Hamas people as just a kind of a ragtag bunch of underdogs kind of the bad news bears of the Middle East. <laughs> this was uh, a big topic at the Republican debate last night. I don't know if you saw that. The, uh, oh, I guess not. I, I didn't need that. I, didn't, I can't lie. I wouldn't. Lie. Please. Well, they're down to five candidates on the island now, and... Uh, <laughs> All of whom Trump is beating by 40 points. The only reason to be in this is to be there if Trump, for some reason, can't run. That's the one thing Republicans and Democrats have in common now. They're both waiting for their nominees to die. <laughs> but there was a, it was a good news, bad news week for the Democrats. Bad news in, in the six battleground states. Trump is beating Biden in five out of six of them. And Biden's support among non-white voters dropped 33 points, and this, Democrats cannot win with just white people. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Although it hasn't hurt Taylor Swift. 